Okay, so the newest overlay to hit Ecamm in version 3.9 is, check it out up here, we've now got a screen share overlay. Let's see what it does. In comes an overlay, here's my overlay, and in the same way that we do camera overlays, when I hit the little pencil symbol, I get some options. So what do I wanna show? My entire screen, um, I've deliberately left Chrome open down here so we can select that. I can say zoom to the app window. And what I really like with this is the fact that I can edit it while this is open. So notice down here, uh, these are our squircles. I think that's the right way around. <laughs> I don't know if that's a proper phrase or just what's been thrown around and described as, but we can select all four corners of this. See how they're changing on my overlay. And uh, so I can custom size this anyway to whatever shape I want, uh, whatever size I want from dragging from the corners. So let's go with something like that to start with. Uh, hit that pencil again. Some really cool features that you're going to see in another video all about the edges and things. So yes, we can put these radiuses on and we can actually put a border to it. Look, we can frame up our overlay like this. I love that. So I can have a play with this. I could kind of round up my edges if I want to. I don't know with the screen share I would do that but we'll go with it for now. So I come down here and uh, you might think, well, why would I wanna do a screen share like this? Um, it, it might be that it kind of fits and you can bring it up and talk alongside it. Uh, I think personally where I'm excited for this is I could create a new scene over here and I'm gonna go my source as blank. So we'll start with nothing in front of us and now I can bring in that video overlay, okay. And again, let's customize this size. Um, I only want Chrome. I want a custom size that I can play with. Might just thin out that border on there a little bit. And uh, yeah, what do we think? So now I can create this over here. I can adjust my Chrome window over here to be th the same shape uh, and then that will help and work. What I'm then thinking is I can hit my camera and um, Look at this, I'm okay with that camera for now actually. And then let's come with custom and look, I can actually, all of a sudden this now starts to look as if, if I take that off, this now starts to look as if I've, you know, had some frames made for it. And um, yeah, very slick and professional. Do keep in mind that you can add a background image behind this on this blank scene. So I've done exactly that. When I look in my overlays over here in showing background, I've got this turned on at the minute, so I've just literally dropped in a, a, a blank image. So I could actually turn on on there something like this as a video background. I'll change that camera back actually because I feel like I'm talking the wrong side. You could get these, these are, you know, like PowerPoint backgrounds or animated video backgrounds, things like that. You could either just drop an image in or you could play a video clip like this and uh, that would just keep looping if you wanted it to. So all of a sudden now you can see how, well maybe you watch other people's lives and you think, oh, I really like their background, how they've done these frames. Well, you can be doing that in here. Now, we've just dropped a video overlay in here. Forgive me, I know we're talking at the minute about screen share overlays, but let me just show you how maybe we could uh, add something to this that maybe that branding there, we decide we wanted a square edge at the top of that one and a rounded one at the bottom of this one. So it uh, again, pulls it together a bit. We can actually overlay the, you know, it's not out the question to have these uh, overlaying slightly. So maybe this one fits more like this and this comes up the top, you know, this is, it's up to you. Uh, and I can adjust my Chrome window to fit it that way if I want to. One cool feature that you might not know about, and uh, let me turn this one off for the time being so I can show you it. Maybe you look at this and go, yeah, it's a bit ugly though. I don't really want to see that background on it. Now, what we can do, there are two options for this, is I could either put on green screen, so now it has just cut out the background, probably doesn't work as well having a border on it. This would actually apply better. I'm gonna drag this up to show in all scenes. And if I go back to this scene here, now you can see, I'll get rid of that one below. Well, you've got two options here then. This was the original one we made that yes, we put a frame, but it looks a little bit ugly that we can see around that edge there. Well, this one over here suddenly is just floating. I'm gonna take that one off. You know, this is just the overlay sitting in front of me now. So although it's to that size, you can see where the edge of it is. It's completely green screened out. It's masked out that background. 
I haven't had to have a green background. It's just done it for us and taken it out. Fantastic, I really like this feature. And uh, so maybe it's not that screen share. Maybe I wanna bring on my comments overlay and I can now do that. And regardless of what shape I've set this to, my comments will come in and they'll sit in here at the side of me. Now, do keep in mind that these overlays that you see around your window here are actually kind of semi-transparent. So that's why it's looking gray on here because it's not a solid color. You'll see that if you kind of move it. Notice how down here I can see a bit of what's going on below it. It's, it's blurred, but I can see there's something coming through that. So I guess that's why it's turned it into this gray. Now we do have another alternative. That's one, and it might be that you look at this and go, that's exactly what I need. Um, maybe you wanna bring up that Chrome window or something else and you love the idea how you can knock out this background. Fantastic. I wanna show you another way to do this, and this is the way I'm gonna be using it. Let's come back into here, into our new scene where we've got nothing in the background. We had, um, where's it gone? The video of me. So this is me back up on the side. And then now over here, I wanna bring that frame back in. I'm not gonna green screen the background because what I can do is I can actually crop it. Now we're in record only mode on here. If I was in Facebook, you see how that changes around. And this is a really popular feature. When we run the Ecamm Academy, I always bring the comments up rather than me individually bringing a comment on. If it's busy and there's a lot going on in the chat, I would rather flick to a screen like this that goes, right, let's have a look at your comments. And people can see me scrolling, but I don't particularly want the, the header and the footer in here. They're all comments and the bit at the bottom here. So what I can now do is hit the option key and either grab the corner or the bottom here, I believe it works, yep. And I can actually crop this. How cool is that? So I can come right to the edge there if I want and I can lose all of this knowing that that part in the middle there is the only bit that comments will be on. Now I release option and I can resize this again. And how cool is that? I've now just created a beautiful customized, well, I think it is. I would be very happy with this. This is what I'm gonna be using on my lives going forwards, um, that I can sit at the side of it there and have my comments going on at the side. And that is just pulling in from over that side of the window there, as you can see. So I'm resizing it by not holding down the option. And if I wanna crop it, or crop, go back out to where I was before, I just hit on the option key. Um, I love that. Ecamm, thank you so much. Uh, really nice. And this again comes in, we mentioned in another video, profiles, check that out if you haven't seen that one. I can now customize this, I could set this up, I could do branding. So maybe, you know, maybe over here, I'm gonna have this a bit smaller. Maybe I wanna grab a logo. Um, I could pop that up there. So maybe in uh, one of my profiles, I want it to be like this and it's branded and you can see me. In fact, I really like that. I think this is definitely going to be a feature in our next Ecamm Academy. And I can now, I've set a scene up so I can be back in this scene over here. This is front camera. I would now rename that one to comment. And when I click and I come over across to this one, I'm now in this window here, really nicely branded. So I think that looks great. Uh, we didn't actually, let's just bring another one in and we'll bring our Chrome window in. Sorry, I get very excited about all this. Um, <laughs> let's bring that Chrome window in. Maybe I wanna keep it to the side of me. I might, we'll sit over here for a minute. Um, and let's do the same thing again and we'll hit option and we'll just crop out that browser and that side there. And uh, I think again, a much nicer way of showing this. Um, and now, yeah, as I'm scrolling down here, you're seeing it all going on up there. Okay, uh, you I'm sure will think of lots of ways that you can use this. Maybe you already are. Please tell us in the comments. I love seeing your feedback and your comments down here. Uh, and if you're as excited about this as I am, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, go have a play and come back to us, let us know, and I'm sure I'll see you in another video. Thanks a lot, see you around.